our final speaker for the 2019 Labor Day breakfast. Every year I don't know what to call him. He, he's, a, he, he's, a, he's a professor. He's the president of AFT. He's a state rep. He's the House Majority, the House Majority Leader. Um, I just call him my friend. Would you please welcome Doug Lay? It's like I tell my students, you can call me whatever you want, and if it's obscene, just do it out of earshot, that's all. Hey, last speaker, you're all anxious to get out. See this? This is a list of bills. What bills do you think this, this, this composed this list? What do you think? These are the vetoes, okay? These are the vetoes. This legislation was passed by Democratic majorities in the House and in the Senate. And I need, before we uh, end here, I want to acknowledge the members of the House, both past and present, who are here. So if those members of the House would please stand and be acknowledged, thank you. So as the speaker before me said, we need, we need to be working hard to make sure we return majorities, pro-worker majorities, in the New Hampshire House and in the New Hampshire Senate come 2020. There's going to be a lot of work to be done, and we need to do it. In terms of these vetoes, let me just ask you on a couple of these. Minimum wage. Override. Thank you. <laughs> Let's do it. We passed it. Who is it who vetoed it? Tell me his name. Yeah, all right. Family and medical leave. You just had that mentioned. Override. Override. Who vetoed it? Chicago. Right. Prevailing wage. Override. Who vetoed? Chicago. Uh, and then there's the state budget. Record funding for education, revenue sharing for municipalities, relief for property taxpayers across this state. What should we do with that? I'd love to be able to do it. Override. And who vetoed? So let me just ask you, okay? In 2020, who is it that you're gonna make damn sure you vote out of office. Tell me his name. Come on, better than that. I want him out. So, get to work now, okay? Get to work now. Thank you.